So please welcome Matt. Hi, folks. Okay, I'm new to this. Be gentle. So this is, I'm going to tell you guys how I got 2,387 people all over the planet to dance badly with me. It wasn't actually 2,387. I made that number up, but it's an educated guess. Uh, it's like, you know, counting jelly beans. The formula for what I do is basically just me dancing badly all around the world. I put it on YouTube, and this is my site. Uh, and, and that's what I've been doing for about five years. I'm going to look at this instead. Um, and... It's actually been viewed by a lot of people. As, uh, as uh, he just said, 30 million people have watched these videos. So many people that actually, if you Google the name Matt, uh, the top four results are now me. Uh, There's enough people that I was able to get a sponsor. So this is what I've been doing for a living for the past few years. And what it initially started out at was just me traveling around, dancing in front of famous monuments, the postcards we all know. And after a while, that started getting kind of boring and samey. I mean, we've all seen these places before. What, what is it really saying to just stand in front of them and dance? About halfway through making the second video, I went to Rwanda, and I danced with a bunch of kids in a village called Malindi. And I had a very energy efficient idea, uh, which was that uh, that was really a whole lot more interesting than dancing in front of the postcards, dancing with people, different people. Me dancing by myself, not that interesting. Other people doing different things all over the world, really, really interesting. So I got the idea to make a third video. Brought it to my sponsor, said, I want to do this again. I want to go all around the world, but this time I want to get people dancing with me. So how do I actually do that? To start with, I took the thousands and thousands of emails I'd gotten from people all over the world saying, hey, you didn't come to my country. And I broke them down into folders, put folders in for Greece, Germany, Georgia, France, everywhere all over the world. And then I also put a sign-up page on my website saying, tell me where you live. When I'm passing through, I'll send you an email, let you know where and when to be, and, and you can come dance with me. We actually got about 25,000 people signing up to dance in this new video. So then we had to prioritize and break it down by country, where we had the most people signed up. When I say we, I mean my girlfriend Melissa and I. We, have, uh, we sort of divided the responsibilities down the middle in a fair and equitable, equitable way. I got the fame, adoration, and money. She does the spreadsheets and the invoices and has total anonymity. <laughs> so she organized these events and sent out the invites where we would uh, recruit helpers in each city. This is what we did for Gasworks Park in Seattle. We'd put a Google map together, and we'd, uh, we'd give the where and the when, and we'd take reference photos, and we got local people to help out in all these cities. It was fantastic. Then we'd set up the events, uh, and, and we got, this was Madrid, where we got 180 people out to dance. There were some overhead to deal with, some legal issues. We had to get everybody signed up, get the release form so we could use their images. When you're dealing with a sponsor, you have to do things like that. But it actually gave us an opportunity to meet and greet everybody who was dancing. And then we would do these, these uh, dancing shoots, which were really easy, took a few minutes, loads of fun every single time. So with that... Uh, system in place, we organized 40 of these events in uh, cities all over the world, and every single time we did it, we would invite people, every single time they would show up. Sometimes it was five people, sometimes it was, a, as I said, 180, but it was always loads of fun, and people were really excited, not to show themselves off or make a spectacle of themselves, but just to be a part of this thing, where you're connected to people all over the world. Another fun little thing that we had was, because of the sign-up process, we had to take headshots of every single person for the release forms, which turned into a sort of uh, art project of its own, where I got these thousands of these little headshots of every participant. Some of them are actually really, really interesting. We had... Uh, uh, a lot of pirates for some reason, uh, some anime characters, some samurais, a cheese head, and a bona fide Catholic priest. Um, so we got, a, you know, all stripes, different strokes. Uh, and uh, anyway, that took care of the places where I get lots of email, uh, like the US, Canada, Western Europe. It did not take care of places where I get very little to no email, such as the island of Tonga or the entire continent of Africa. So I wanted to figure out a way to represent those places in the videos as well. So I had to do more of a guerrilla style there. Uh, the strategy was I would show up in a country. I learned that kids are a lot easier to dance with than adults, especially when you haven't emailed them in, at first to explain what you're doing. Um, and so I would set up the camera, take one. Uh, would usually be kind of weird because they didn't get what I was doing. I was just standing there and they were looking at me. Take two was usually gold. Take three, the wise-ass effect would take hold, where, where one or two kids would go up to the camera and go, blah, 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 blah. 
So take two was usually what ended up in the video, but that was how I got those other countries. Another thing I learned is, um, is handing out money to kids on the street in developing countries isn't a very good idea. Uh, it's not a good strategy. So something I learned was, was uh, to seek out schools, talk to teachers, explain what I wanted to do, and, uh, and make a donation to the school in exchange for time, time with the kids. That actually benefited them instead of just you know, handing them change, which is messy. Anyway, occasionally we would also hire uh, Bollywood dance troops to fill things out, but I'm out of slides now, so that's another story. Um, and anyway, that's how I made the Where the Hell is Matt videos.